All right, so let's go ahead and code it now. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a couple of small changes. Um, in here, instead of saving it into simply the player's user ID, like what we did before, right? Um, we're going to also add this text to it, this dash leader stats. Okay, and the way we do that is we do string concatenation, and the way you concatenate is you do a dot dot, and then we can add a string onto the end of this number. Okay, and the string that we're going to add is dash leader stats. So now it's going to get from this folder the user ID and dash leader stats. Okay, so this is going to be the full name of the folder that is trying to get from the data store. Um, okay, so that's that. And then when we go ahead and uh, leave the game, we're going to need to save it, this set async. We need to go ahead and uh, save it to this folder here. Right? So it's going to be user ID dot dot dash leader stats like that so that's all we need to do and now when it uh, when it player leaves the game it's gonna take this data it's gonna store it in here and then when we enter the game it's going to grab the data from here okay um, okay so now we want to add the player stats to this whole system right the player stats folder so what we can do is just copy all of this stuff and just to review, what is all this stuff doing? This first one is creating the leader stats folder, creating all the values that go inside of it, and parenting the values to the leader stats folder. So all of these money, gold, or max gold are inside of the leader stats folder. Uh, this code here is getting from the leader stats folder all of the data. It's getting all of this stuff here, and it's returning it to leader stats data. And if it's not equal to zero, if there's nothing in there, um, then it's going to set everything to zero and two. Uh, but if there is something in there, then it's going to set all the values in leader stats to those values from the data store. Okay. Um, so we need to go through all of those uh, steps again. So we're going to go ahead and copy all of that, put some comments in here, paste it in. Um, our leader stats is not going to be called leader stats anymore. It's going to be called player stats. So I'll go ahead and copy that, paste it here and here. Um, I don't need three values. Eventually, I'm going to have three values that I'm going to put in there. But right now, all I need is has heavy pack. So let's do has heavy pack. Let's copy this. Whoa, not there. Um, here and here. Right. The parent of this value has heavy pack is not going to be leader stats. It's going to be player stats. Right. As we can see here. The parent of this is going to be player stats. Um, and then down here, this is going to be player stats as well, right? We're going to say user ID dash player stats, which is going to mean that it's going to save it not in this folder, in Gold Rush Store, but in this folder. Okay. Um, okay. And then what? I think we're good. Okay. And then now down here, I'm going to change this to player stats. And I'm going to copy this here, erase these two guys, because we only have one piece of data in this variable. We need to create this variable. So let's say local, oh, I'm sorry. We could just change it here as well. So let's copy and paste it here and there. OK, and then we'll do that and that. It's not money. It has heavy pack. Whoa, yeah, has heavy pack. That's right. And then else. If there's nothing in the has heavy pack, if it this is this else is basically if this is the first time we're playing the game, then we're gonna set it equal to false, All right? And if it's not the first time we're playing the game, then we're gonna set it equal to whatever it was set to before, whether that's true or whether that's false. All right, so that should be good for that portion. And then now, when the player leaves the game and disconnects, we also want to do the same setup, okay? And what is this setup as a review? It's packing up all the data from the leader stats folder packing up all of this data, putting it into this variable, and saving it into the data store gold rush uh, user ID dot leader stats, saving it here, right? On the on the server, in the data store service. So it'll be there for us when we play again. So we're gonna have to do these same steps also for the other folder. So let's come over here, put some comment lines there to separate the code, paste it in. We don't need three pieces of data, so we're going to take that all out. 
this is not player dot leader stats this is going to be player dot player stats so let's player stats um, yeah player dot player stats okay and then we're going to say has a heavy pack right is that right has heavy pack okay so let's do that and then this is not going to be leader stats it's going to be player stats um and i think that's all we oh right here this guy needs to be has heavy pack okay and i think that's all we need and uh that was quite a bit so um make sure your code is correct and all of your capitalizations are capital and then we'll go ahead and test it in the next video